happy quarantine, everybody. Let's get really technical here. I'm going to show you how to do a screen recording with a video or movie recording in the bottom right screen. So you can record yourself while also recording the screen if you wanted to have your image kind of pop up in a corner of your screen so you could demonstrate some things while also showing the kids uh, anything on your home screen that you want to show them. So as an example, I have some sixth grade uh, work up here that I'm going to want to walk through with them on my video, but I also want to videotape myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my QuickTime app is in my home doc because it's easily accessible. My first video, uh, how to make a screen recording, the, the beginning part of that video will show you how to get that app to this home doc. I'm going to click this icon once with two fingers on my mouse pad and I'm going to get my menu here. I'm going to click new movie recording. And here I am. So what's important is a couple things. One, my voice is being picked up here using uh, my internal microphone. And you can see that because the bars are changing and they're lighting up. So now that that is being done, uh, and I know that's being done, I'm going to hit this record button. Now that I'm video recording, it doesn't matter. I can do whatever I want. I can make mistakes because this isn't the video that we're going to be keeping. So to move forward, I'm going to move to the top left corner and I'm going to see my cursor has changed to two arrows. I'm going to drag my movie screen down to the bottom right corner and eventually it won't go any smaller. So you'll know how small you can get. You can put this, you can drag it to the top or the bottom or the side. You can put it wherever you want on your screen. Now, I'm going, while this is recording, I'm going to go back to my QuickTime player and I'm going to click it once with two fingers again to get that menu. And there's a second option that pops up, new screen recording. I'm going to click this and my screen recording pops up, uh, my screen recording uh, home screen pops up now too. What's really important, because we're going to be keeping the screen recording video, is that my voice is being picked up because these bars are lighting up. But if it wasn't being picked up, you're going to want to click this arrow and choose internal microphone. After you've done that, you can now click the record button and this screen pops up in the center. You are not recording your screen until you have clicked once somewhere on your screen. That image goes away and now I am screen recording while also picking up this here, my video image. So I want to show them how to do certain things so I can hover over whatever you want. You can use your smart board app, whatever you want to do. You're going to show them what to do. Then to stop this, I'm first going to stop my screen recording by hovering over my QuickTime, click once with two fingers, and I'm going to hit stop screen recording. This is the video we are keeping. It's very important. So I'm going to go up and minimize it. Now, over here is the original uh, movie that I was recording that my using my webcam. I'm going to stop this recording and I don't need this video anymore. So I'm going to exit and I'm not even going to save it. I'm going to just delete it or don't save it. I don't need it. That image or that, sorry, that screen recording that I just minimized, I'm going to open that back up. And what you'll see is me picking my nose. But more importantly, that image goes away. And now I am screen recording while also picking up this here, my video image. So I want to show them how to do certain things so I can hover over. What so I now have a screen recording where I'm showing them something on my computer. And then I also have my image uh, down at the bottom in case I wanted to have my picture on as well. So to save this, you can go to file and you can go to save or you can hit the X and this will allow you to, so I'm gonna save this as video and I wanna save it to my desktop. So I'm gonna save and so now I have just saved a video where I have, I'm showing my students something on my screen and I'm also recording my image as well. Good luck.